Hello all! In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about complex numbers. Any complex number, it has the standard form A plus BI, in which the A represents the real part, and the B is the imaginary part. So, any complex number, it has two parts, a real part and an imaginary part. The complex number in standard form has a conjugate which is A minus BI. The relationship between the, the complex number and its conjugate is that A plus BI times A minus BI equals this it looks like A plus B times A minus B which it equals a square minus B square. So if we apply it for the complex number, the first term A, it will be A square minus BI all of it square. And this equals A square minus, distribute the exponent, B square times I square, in which I equals negative 1, then it will be a square minus b square. i square we said is negative 1, so it will be times negative 1, which equals a square plus b square. Complex numbers, they are used in operations. So, all they can perform all the operations, plus, minus, times, and divide. Let's see what exactly do we have to do. So, write the following in the form of A plus BI, which is the standard form. It's like we have a binomial minus. Binomial. So we will do the minus exactly as we did before. We need to do plus or minus between polynomials. First of all, from left to right, according with order of operation, we have to remove the brackets. So we write the first one without the brackets. It will be 2 plus 5 times. The negative to each so negative negative 6, it will be plus 6, and negative times i, it will be negative i. Now we will collect the like terms. 2, it is real part because it does not have the i. We look after the like term with it, so it will be 2 plus 6 equals to a. We collect 5i with negative i, and we will combine them. 5i minus plus 4i. And this is the simplest form in standard form. As you can see, we did exactly as we used to do before with polynomials, in the same way exactly. It's just that instead of x, we have the i. If we have to multiply a monomial with a binomial, we are going to use the distributive property of multiplication to remove the bracket. So the 2i we will distribute to each term without the bracket. 2i times 6 equals 4. 2i times 5 equals 1. 2i times 3 i times i i squared. Remember that i squared equals negative 1. So we will substitute. be 12i plus 3 times negative 1, and this equals 12i minus 3. The standard form always has the real part first. 
and after the imaginary part. And this is the answer in simplest form. So the equation. This is a quadratic equation. It is in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. As you can see, the bx term, it is missing. So to, to solve the equation, because it contains only the x squared term, I'm going to show it to you both of the ways. So, minus 16 minus 16 on both of the sides. Square root on both of the sides, it will be x equals positive or negative root of negative 16. It came from negative 1 times 16. So, instead of negative 16, I can write negative 1 times 16. And then x equals positive or negative. So, square root of negative 1 times square root of 16. Square root of 16, it is 4. And square root of negative 1, it is i. So, then it will be x equals positive negative 4 i. The same equation, use it. Solve it by using factoring. x squared plus 16 equals to 0. So, in here, we are going to apply the sum of two x squared, which we said is a squared plus b squared. To factor it, the factors, they are going to be complex numbers and they are going to be conjugate. So, a squared, it came from a times a. B squared, it came from B times B, but because here it's on plus, we will put plus minus I, I. So it will be B, I, B, I. So this is the term, yes? So we will apply it in this, in this equation. B squared, it came from B squared, plus 16 times 4, it's a 4, it's a 4 square, equals to 0. Apply the rule on it. We have the two factors equals to zero. So from the plus one x times x plus four squared the sixteen x came from positive four i and negative four i. Product equals to zero if at least one of the factors it is zero. So x plus four i equals to zero or x minus four i equals to Minus 4i minus 4i. It will be equal to This is the root. It is not a real root. The root. It is called the complex root. Plus 4i plus 4i. It will be x equals to 4i. So, as you can observe, the two complex numbers, they are conjugate. Always, when you have to solve a quadratic equation and you get one root complex, the other root, it will be its conjugate. Keep it in your mind. Y squared equals negative 25. To solve the equation, we look for y. In our case, we have the y squared, so to make it y, we put square root on both of the sides. It will be y root of negative 25, it came from negative 1 times 25. And then y equals positive negative square root negative 1 times square root of 25. Square root 25, it is 5. And square root negative 1, this is complex, which is i. So finally, we can say That y equals positive or negative five i. With a little bit practice, you can do it direct. Yeah? Simplify i to exponent minus one. What we are going to use to simplify this power, we are going to use the power of i, which we know it. We know that i squared equals 
negative one. So this is what we are going to use. But this is where then we have to rewrite 34 as factors such that one of the factors it will be true. And we are going to go down to our side. 34 is it divisible by 2? It is equals to 17. Instead of writing 34, I will write 2 times 17. And this is what I square all of it to 17. I used in this case the power of a power. So if I have B and times M is common, this came from B to M, all of it to M. And this equals I square it is negative 1, all of it to exponent 17 equals. The base is negative, exponent it's an odd number, so the answer it will be always negative. So the final answer it will be negative 1. I to exponent 129. Again, we are going to use the I square which we know it is equals to negative 1. The problem is that 129, it is not divisible by 2. Then we are going to split the number into other two numbers such that one of the other numbers, it will be divisible by 2. So instead of 129, I can write I to exponent 128 plus 1. This is addition between the exponents, and this is came from b to m times b to m equals same base with the base, and the exponents we will add them. So this addition between the exponents it came from i to exponent one hundred twenty-eight times i. I here it's in simplest form, so this. We are going to keep it. And we go back to 128. 128 is divisible by 2. So we are going to use the power of a power. We can write i 2 times 128 divided by 2 times i. So this is what it takes the power of a power. We can write the power of a power. This is It will be equals negative base to have an exponent, all of it in simplest form, it will be a positive one times i, which equals to i. Negative 4 minus i plus negative 1 plus 7 i plus 6 i. As we saw, for the, the, the two complex numbers. We said we are going to do exactly as we used to do before with binomials. So we have to remove the brackets from left to right. I will take the first bracket and write the first number. We have two. It will be negative 4 minus i. Plus in front of a bracket does not change the signs inside of this bracket. So I will write negative. 1 plus 7i. Again, the plus that does not change the sign inside of the bracket, so it will be plus 6i. All we have left now is to connect the like terms. The real part with the real part. So negative 4 minus 1. I will cross them out that because I don't want to get confused. Now I look I here, I have the I here, and I have it here. Negative I plus 6, 7I, it is 6I. And 6I plus 6I, it will be a positive 12I. And this is the answer in simplest form. So again, to plus or minus complex numbers, exactly as we did before with binomials. So if it is minus, in front of the bracket, don't forget to change the signs inside of that bracket. For example, negative 
negative 2 minus 4i minus negative 5 minus 4i minus negative 5 minus 5i. From left into the right into the first Or depends on you. If what is it easier for you, or you distribute it, do the times, or directly you will change the sign. Negative times negative, it will be plus five. Negative times negative, it will be plus two i. And again, we distribute the negative sign. Negative negative, it will be plus five. Negative negative again plus five i. What is it left? And the left side. The real part is 5, so negative 2 here, so 5, and again 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3, and plus 5, it will be 8. I will cross them out. Negative 4i plus 2i is a negative 2i plus 5i is a plus 3i. To multiply the first, you will receive the property of multiplication. And in simplest form, don't forget the i square equals negative 1. So to take a negative of the i, we will take this three here, the negative of the i square. Negative x times negative i, it will be a positive for the i. And i times i, it's i squared. But i squared, we know, is negative 1, so it will be equal to 48. 48 times negative 1, it will be another 42. In standard form, we have to put the real part first, which is negative 48 plus 40i. So negative 48, it's the real part, and 40, it's the imaginary part. The operation between brackets is the same, so we have to multiply monomial. One term polynomial, it's called monomial. Don't get confused. In this case, it's not going to be used as a negative property of multiplication. All we have to do is to follow the last term and multiply them. So let's see. Negative 8 times 5, it's a negative 40. Negative 40 times 3 equals negative. So we are done with the constant. i times i, it is i squared times i. i squared, it's equals to negative 1, so it will be negative 120 times negative 1, it's a positive 120 times i. So this is the simplest form. Negative 3 plus 2i. All of it squared equal. This is a binomial square. And we know that binomial square in simplest form in the product gives us three terms. Let's put the three terms. Which are they? The square will give it to the first term, so it will be negative 3. All of it square. We will give it to the second term, so it will be 2i. All of it square. And in the middle, we will multiply. It is plus between, so we put everywhere plus. We will get the simplest form. So we write negative 3 squared, it is 9. 2 times negative 3, it's negative 6. Times 2, it's a negative 12. I plus 2 squared, it is 4. I squared. I squared, we know, is negative 1, so it will be equal to 9 minus 12i minus 4. Follow the last terms. 9 minus 
is 43 square minus 12i. And this is answer in simplest form. If we have to multiply three complex numbers, 3i. Times 7 minus 12i. We are going to use the associative property of multiplication. So we cannot multiply the three numbers in the same time. That's why I will choose first a ball. I will multiply the first one with the second one. This is what I'm going to do first. And to remove the bracket, I will do this. Is negative 1, so it's negative 12, it will be plus 12 times. I will take now the last factor, 7 minus 5i, and again use the distributive property of multiplication. First of all, I will introduce the negative 9i. So negative 9 times 7, it's a negative. Oh. Negative 9 times negative 5 is a positive 45 i squared. I'm done with distributing the negative 9 i, I will distribute the 12. 12 times 7 is a positive 44. Positive negative negative 12 times 5 it is 60 i. i squared, it means negative. Negative 60 i minus 45 plus 84 minus 60 i equals. Call it the last term i with i. So negative 63 minus 60, negative 123 i. Negative 45 plus 84, it will be a positive. The last is the last thing that I have to do it is to put the complex number in standard form, which means real part first and the imaginary part second. So minus 123i. If it is about dividing. As you can see here, it is written a fraction, numerator, denominator, it's a complex number. So to do the simplest form, we have to rationalize the denominator, which means we have to do here something to make the i disappear. So the denominator cannot contain the i. To do this, we are going to multiply by its the positive of negative 5 minus i is negative 5 plus i. To balance this uh, fraction, what we did for denominator, we have to do it for numerator. And now we have here to distribute 10 times negative 5, it's a negative 60. 10 times i, it's a plus 10i. We did this before, so it's like a minus b, a plus b, i, yes? So, let me just take it separate and remind it to you. a minus b, i times a plus b, i, it is equal a square plus b square. In our case, we have negative 5 minus i times negative 5 plus i. And equal. The first term A in our case is a negative 5. So it's like negative 5 times negative 5, which will be negative 5 squared. 
plus the coefficient of R, the B. B is the coefficient of R. In this case, it's 1. So we'll write plus 1 square. And this it will be equals negative 5 square. It's a 25 plus 1, which equals to 26. Then we can go back and write over 26. In simplest form, we will split it because the answer always, it has to be given in the form A plus BI. So real part has to be separated by the imaginary part. So then we are going to split the fraction and we will write negative 50 over 26 plus 10i over 26. Simplify the first fraction by 2. It will be negative 25 over 13 plus simplify the second fraction by 2. 5 over 13 and i in the middle. So this is the simplest form. Again, to divide the denominator we will multiply it by its conjugate, which is called rationalized denominator. So we will split this i to disappear. Let's try one more. We have 8 over negative 4 minus 2i. First of all, it's very easy to observe that between all of these three given terms, there is a common factor of 2. So the best it's to try if possible to try to work a small number in order to the Then I can write 8 over the common factor between negative 4 and negative 2. It's a negative 2, so I will factor the denominator. It will be 2 plus i. We can simplify by negative 2, so it will be equal negative 4 over 2 plus but now we have to rationalize the denominator. So we'll do time, it's positive, 2 minus i. For both denominators and numerators. Now we have to distribute. It will be equals. Negative 4 times 2, it is negative 8. Negative negative i, it will be plus 4i. All over 2 times 2, it is 4. Positive i times negative i, it's a negative i square. But i square, it means negative 1. So negative times negative 1, it will be plus 1. plus 4i all over 5. Split the fraction, so separate the real part from the imaginary part, it will be negative 8 over i plus 4 over 5i. And this is the answer in simplest form. Thank you.